Jews never, you know, Chase Manhattan, Jews, these weren't Jew run banks. But these people didn't have any knowledge or, and they needed you need somebody. an enemy, and it can't be yourself. It's yeah. going to be the one to, with the horn. Well, you always got to point your finger. It's yeah. too hard to look deep into things. So the first yeah. thing they hear is the thing that's going to stick. For most people, the first thing they hear is the thing they're going to remember. Yeah. You know, it's real hard to look in and do a Google search and start reading articles on the Internet and pick up a book and find out the history of it. Yeah. People don't do that. The they hear thing. one thing. Jew banker. Oh, those motherfuckers. Yeah. And that's it's how they have an excuse, too. That's, yeah. that's why I always got laid. I always, the first thing I said to the girls, I'll never hurt you. And, you know, that sticks. The first thing. I'll, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll always be there for you. <laughs> what do you got, dude? All right. Let's get a girl in here. Oh, Wendy man. from Maryland. Go ahead. Uh, hi. Maryland. What's up, Wendy? Hi, Joe. I just wanted to let you know, first of all, I love you. Oh, thank you. I love you, uh, too. I love watching you on UFC. I love it. Um, but I have a question. First of all, I think you should run for president. I love your views. Why? Do you want to get me to get shot? No, <laughs> no, You no, would no. have definitely <laughs> got shot. I would be president for about 13 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you had a Jew vice president, you'll never get shot. <laughs> you, you, they've That's got that point. whole president thing wrapped up. There's no presidents anymore. The last time we had a president, he took a slow ride in a convertible through Dallas. Yeah. There's no presidents now. There's spokesmen for giant corporations. That's all it is. True. I mean, I think I think we need a big meteor to clean everything up. Um, I, my other question is, you you have those suckers. Are they chronic candy suckers? No, no, no. The chronic candy just it just tastes like pot. This yeah, is, this no. is made with pot. Okay, because that's what I was going to say. I had those chronic candy ones, and they suck. I yeah. did not like them at no, all. No, those are disgusting. Joe gave me my first pot, pop, or whatever it's called, and I called him El Diablo for the next month because <laughs> it seemed fine. It was like, yeah, I'm just looking. Nothing's happening. You're like, easy on this. I'm like, whatever. Fuck you. Easy. It's, I don't feel anything. And then I just started seeing my, my God and my devil <laughs> fighting out for control of my People soul. People always want to claim machismo when it comes to pot. Like, dude, I'm fine. Like I told you, I fucked Charlie Murphy up, dude. I fucked that guy up. He wouldn't get high before he went on stage for the rest of the tour. But also, it tastes One like time. butterscotch. Yeah. That's never bad for you. Butterscotch. <laughs> yeah. Well, if you, you've had those so Sodas too, right? I give you the a sodas, soda. That was a good fucking all yeah. all body buzz. It was really good. Tastes like crap though. I got some stuff that'll rock you, dude. I got this, some little Listerine strips, those little things you put on your really? tongue. Yeah, it's all like little breast it. strips. They're little little strips. Yeah, you put it in your tongue, and all of a sudden you're on fucking Pluto. It's called blotter acid. No, it's no. called <laughs> pot. It's called <laughs> pot Listerine strips, man. Where do you live in Maryland? Uh, Cumberland. It's they, a small yeah. hick town. Yeah. yeah. Do they have any? Is there a lot of pot there and stuff? Uh, yeah, well, that's that's all there is to do here. <laughs> the yeah. problem is you never know what you're getting. You know, that's the thing about the medical right. marijuana thing in California is you know exactly what you're getting. You know what strain it is. You know, like, where it's coming from. You know the percentage of THC. You know, it's like they've got it down to a science in California. Cops right. don't really care, too. They don't give a fuck. How bad is it in New York? People I don't think they like care. Cops no, they no. See you. I hosted the High Times Music Awards here. We did it at BB King's, and there was fucking weed passed around left and right here. Really? And cops were outside. I don't know how they did it. I don't know who they greased up or what. What? But e the thing about California is it's so overwhelming. In in San Francisco, there's twice as many medical marijuana dispensaries as there are Burger Kings. <laughs> There's 40. There's 20 bur tw uh, McDonald's rather. 20 McDonald's, 40 medical marijuana really? dispensaries. Yeah. Well, and, they're and adding they, more McDonald's not stopping. now because of it. They're not but, stopping. Cool. They won't uh, stop. You know what? Uh, right, thanks, Wendy. I want to hear Thank some, you. Is, is anybody thanks, for Wendy. the uh, making drugs illegal? Do you have any callers that way? Oh, yeah, you'll get not, called. But on this show. No. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> fucking open Anthony, dude. <laughs> yeah, these, what are you kidding me? You're the other side. They, half these really people haven't out. left their basement in three years. <laughs> <laughs> what are you kidding me? Yeah. They want to make treadmills illegal. <laughs> if you're going to make drugs <laughs> illegal, you got to make the dangerous ones illegal first, and no one's doing that. Alcohol and tobacco. Those are number one and number two. Those are the fucking scary ones, man. Those are the ones that are killing people. There's too much around. money behind that. You're not going to... Guys, I want to take a quick break, and uh, there's a bunch of UFC questions. You want a break and then go to those? Those for Voss? I don't need a break. Yeah. You need a break? Do you guys have to take a break? No. Then let's just keep going. All right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All uh, right. Switching gears. Let's go to Sean in New Orleans. Sean, go ahead, man. Hey, Joe. What's up, dude? Uh, a couple of you... A couple of UFCs ago, uh, they had a dude with a caved-in chest. Oh, yeah. That's fighting. Trey Telegman. Yeah, and, and you didn't say anything. I was like, dude, you're a comedian. Oh, uh, no, I've talked about it before. I, he's fought a bunch of times in the UFC. He's a real good fighter. He actually got in a car accident when he was a baby. And, oh. uh, yeah, and he got really fucked up. And, you know, one of his uh, pectoral muscles is missing and his chest is caved in. Is that no pectoral that's muscle? About. Yeah, yeah. And he can kill people? It's, it's real weird. Yeah, oh, yeah, he'll fuck you up. <laughs> Does he just not punch on that side? Or no, what? he punches with both hands. He's a professional boxer. 
So where yeah. does this power Peck come from? To, pe the, the punching is not actually from your chest. It's your, back? your chest is really to push things away from you. Punching is really from your back and your shoulders. Okay. That's the real muscles. This, how does it get? Like if you look at like Roy Jones Jr., he's a real good puncher. Never had a big chest. He didn't. Doesn't have big triceps. It's all shoulders and biceps. You know, if people get on back. top of him. Can he not throw them off? He can then? throw them off. I mean, he can bench press. He's just, you know, on that side, he's using more of his shoulder and okay. you know, other muscles and triceps. When you watch, like, the ultimate fighting, and the, it, like, if you watch a karate tournament, there's, like, so much more kicking, and the kicking looks more deadly. You know what I mean? In ultimate fighting, the kicking isn't as deadly as it is the you know I sure mean, it is guys get knocked out let me tell you something you get hit in the head boards. it's a little more difficult to land a kick because it's a it's 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 a little slower uh -huh. and you know you there's it's a little more obvious you see it coming you use your whole body when you do it but if a guy lands a fucking kick to your head dude you're going to sleep yeah. you know a lot of guys can take a good punch there's very few guys who can take a kick to the head well a side kick or uh like that you're talking you know a roundhouse to the head you're talking right any it, kind yeah, of kick yeah. to the head man most of the That's kicks that land to the, head, to the head the knee to the head yeah flying knee yeah. yeah yeah i mean most of the kicks that land uh i mean if you land a foot and the guy's like moving away you can get away with it but if you get caught in the head with a fucking shin like you get shin to the head Dude, that's like getting hit in the head with a baseball bat. I mean, the only thing that saves guys is that the guy's kicking you is really tired, you know, and he, he's exhausted and he's not getting full energy into it, or, you know, you're moving away from the blow, but it's um, way more powerful to kick somebody. Just think about Yeah, it's four times as strong. Yeah, legs, the, huh? yeah, the legs, and the, you're using your whole torso. And, and so. But it's just that when I, I mean, years ago when I used to watch karate tournaments, or you would see, like, you know, a taekwondo tournament, whether it's pussy or this and that, and you'd see, like, a reverse roundhouse, and it was just so, you know, clean like that, you know what I mean? Just, uh -huh. you know, and they, the guys are sparring, and you see just they're back and forth, and it almost looks like a fucking, like it's uh, uh, orchestrated, you know what I mean? And yeah. then with Ultimate Fight, you'll never see, like, a reverse roundhouse. Yeah, you do, you do. Oh, well, you do? Like a wheel kick or something, you do, yeah. but the guys have to be really good at it. See, the thing about mixed martial arts is everybody's coming from a different discipline. A lot of guys are coming from wrestling, a lot uh -huh. of guys are coming from kickboxing, yeah. and the, 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 there's very few guys that are coming from Taekwondo. And, but the guys who are coming from Taekwondo, they, if they know how to use that shit, there's a few kicks. Uh, my background originally was in Taekwondo. Most of Taekwondo is useless. But there's a few kicks that work. Like, yeah. David loazo has got a nasty spinning back kick. And he stopped Charles McCarthy with it in the UFC. And it's a fucking badass move. And very few guys throw it. But if a guy's good at it and he throws it and it lands, it'll yeah. fucking cripple you, man. It's like getting hit with a, with a, um, like a, like a telephone pole in the middle of your chest. And then there's wheel kicks. Kicks with a, or, or a spinning heel kick. If nobody's doing those yet, but yeah. those will knock you the fuck out, man. If someone's good at it and they figure out how to do it, it's going to enter into the UFC. It's just going to take some time. The sport is evolving right now. Yeah. Right now, what we're seeing is, you know, uh, you know, step three or four in a multi-step process of this sport becoming, you know, like it's really it's the sport of fighting, you know, and fight. There's a whole bunch of different ways to fight. And initially, they thought when the UFC was first around, well, it's only about grappling man yeah. if Hoist Gracie gets a hold of you he takes you to the ground well guys figured out how to not get take to, to take, taken down to the ground they figured out how to keep away and, and knock you the fuck out standing like a guy like Chuck Liddell so all of a sudden that became the way to fight but there's going to be people that figure that style out too there's going to be better kickboxers there's going to be guys who figure out how to pull guard there's gonna, this is, it's a constant evolution you know yeah. and it's a young sport I mean it's only been around in this country really as ultimate fighting since 1993 I was uh, I don't know if I was what I was watching, but don't isn't there guys that just come in that don't have a martial art background that are just barroom brawlers? No, those guys no, are fucked. That, yeah, was, that was in the old days. Yeah. Right. That, that's oh. it. I mean, Tank Abbott. I mean, everybody calls about Tank Abbott a barroom brawl. Tank Abbott's a serious wrestler. Yeah. He knows how to wrestle. You know, he's an athlete. He knows how to box. I mean, he's not an untrained fighter. Yeah, he puts on this thing like he, he fights in bars, and he will fight in bars, and he does like getting drunk, and he does like doing that. But the bottom line is that guy knows how to fight. The reason why he fought in all those UFCs and did so well yeah. is because he knows how to fight. You can't just take a guy with no training who thinks he's a badass and fight because. It's like saying you don't ha know how to speak a language and someone teaches you a few words and you go run and try to have a conversation with someone. Yeah. Not even have a conversation, but have an argument with someone. I mean, that's what it's like. These guys are so fucking good now. There's so many guys that are so good in so many...